Hi and welcome to Law Seeko. My name is Amish Agarwal. A lot of lawyers, especially when they are starting out, they face this huge challenge of understanding how to do a cross examination. They stand in court, trying to observe other lawyers, senior lawyers who are doing their cross examination, be it in a civil court or a criminal court. But I can speak from experience that you will hardly get anything out of it. And most other lawyers who have tried it will vouch the same. One nifty little trick that one can do to learn cross-examination. Now another thing to note is that your ability to cross-examine in one particular situation will not help you at all when it's another particular situation. For example, if you have seen or if you have conducted a cross-examination for something like murder, despite it being a grievous offence, the same skill set does not apply when you want to cross-examine in perhaps a case of theft, let alone a civil suit which is a completely different thing. So one thing that you can do when you want to find out exactly what to cross-examine the witnesses on is this little known trick that people can do. It is a rule that disposed of matters anybody can apply for certified copies of not just the orders but also the evidence in the case file. You don't need permission from the judge either. But of course you will not get copies of the uh, evidence, uh, the, the particular pieces of evidence, the documents, say for example sale deeds or uh, you know any other document, any other piece of evidence you will not get but copies of depositions you can get. So for example, you get a new client who is accused of perhaps dowry harassment and now you want to know exactly what are the questions that I need to ask the wife so that I can establish that my client is innocent of this offence. You go online, you look up judgments in which there have been substantial arguments addressed and an acquittal has been secured and then and of course it should be a, it should be a disposed of matter. Then you go to that concerned court, you move an application for certified copy of all the orders as well as the deposition. Once you see what is written inside the testimony, inside the deposition, you will get a very very good idea about what kind of questions to ask and about how to drag on your cross-examination against every particular witness so that you can ensure that you're doing a very very good job for your client and that there is nothing which you could have done better but you did not do. There will be no scope for that left.